Representative Allen, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. My first question is, what do you do for a professional career, and can you share a little bit about your life outside the Capitol? So I, I live in the Powderhorn District, uh, Powderhorn neighborhood in, in uh, 62B in and, and, uh, South Minneapolis, and I've been there about 14 years. I'm a practicing attorney. Um, I've been doing that since 97, and I still practice, and I, I represent Indian tribes and their entities. So I do, I've, I used to do gaming law, but I, I, I stopped doing that about six years ago, and, and I'm, I'm sort of glad to be out of it. And so now I do transactional work and, and focus on economic development, and then tax work because I have an advanced law degree in, in taxation, so I help uh, tribes design tribal tax systems and train tax commissioners, so, so, about, uh, so it's really focused on economic development, which I'm, uh, I think is, is an area where there's it just the incredible need is, is um, it's just overwhelming sometimes the lack of um, uh, economic development on reservations infrastructure and so but sort of helping to build tribes build that infrastructure and bring economic development is is, is what I've been working on for the last uh, since 97 so what do you see as the biggest challenge the state faces in the next 10 years the uh, health and human services um, and, and the uh, disparities, uh, the achievement gap, I think all that is, is, is uh, it's one big problem. It's got many aspects to it, but the, the, but the um, uh, health care crisis, I mean, I think we're, Minnesota will lead the way at some point on, on um, uh, 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 single-payer health care, um, and I think that you'll see some movement on that soon um, as a model. And so I think the... the um, in our city, and I'm and, and very interested in see the the new uh, govern. I mean, the new mayor, how uh, she had the support of many in the uh, community, the neighborhoods where I live in, uh, progressive agenda as far as is that uh, the disparity, um, and it is among uh, white and and persons of color that the, that the um, but that somehow if that's not addressed, our city cannot succeed and thrive in that um, and, I, and I think you see a lot of uh, in the suburbs that you, you, we have a lot of um, neighborhoods are improving and, and focus on parks and quality of life issues and biking and, and you see people from the suburbs are moving into the city but um, and so uh, we need to make sure that they're not going to be moving out people who you know need affordable housing um, you know we're concerned about uh, gentrification in our district but but at the same time, um, getting quality of life issues, I think that's the biggest uh, challenge is, is, is to, so we don't leave, we're, we're leaving people behind. What is the most difficult aspect of being a legislator? I think it's, it's it, the difficult part is, is um, how there's, there's so many unmet needs because I, I'm on the health and human services policy civil um, and so the unmet met needs and, and to have organizations come in that have done you know do really good work and 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 and, and there's just the need is just greater than we can address and so you know you say I know the you know the private sector needs to step up and do their part but and be uh, responsible but but our but it, that part is is hard some is is to um, sort of prioritize and have to say no to people and, and or to wait or or that's just not feasible or uh, so those kind of uh, that that that's a difficult uh, sometimes. Why did you initially decide to run for office as a representative? It was something that I it was for me my campaign was about um, about fighting um, s uh, for social and economic justice and so, and so growing up and experiencing discrimination and injustice and seeing that in the places, uh, reservations, border towns that I live in, lived in. Um, and so, and my parents were activists and they worked uh, within their uh, profession to, to cha make change in uh, various communities throughout the state, the, uh, throughout the country. And so, I, so to me it was uh, something that was just part of my life was that you, was community service um, and that, uh, and and so that so it was something that I was involved in community organizations. So it just it seemed a way to honor my parents and to continue that work. So my final question is, if given a chance, who would you like to be 
for a day? Or who would you like to change roles with? You know, the person that, that, I, that comes to mind is, is a, a mentor. And her name is Sharon Day. She's an activist. She, she's um, uh, Ojibwe and uh, an elder. And she walked all the way from the headwaters of Mississippi to to uh, to the uh, uh, to uh, where is it and uh, in um, New Orleans, New Orleans, and 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 she's done that twice to raise awareness about uh, to water and what they did was they carried water, and and they walked and and it was a way to bring awareness to the how that we need to take care of our rivers, our water and how 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 integral that is in our lives and so that I think I think uh, to be able to to. Um, have that um, uh, time and, and, and uh, uh, sort of dedication to something and some uh, about uh, a mission in life. I think that that is something. I think somebody that has a, a really strong mission. I think I think that's that's who I would be. Thank you, Representative Allen, for joining us today. Thank you.